The Garrison Lam Road were left stranded today after the highway was cut off near Gamba Police Station following heavy floods after the Tana River broke its banks, submerging villages within the Delta, including two police stations. Elsewhere, residents of Garissa and Madogo towns want the Kenya National Highways Authority, uh, Kenhar, to hasten the repairs on the road. A section between the two towns, which was washed off by floods last week, all these in the floods watch. As raging floods that have so far killed 142 people continue to ravage the country, motorists and security officers manning Lamu Garsen Road were today stranded after the highway was cut off at Gamba Police Station following heavy floods that submerged villages within the delta, including two police stations. Upande wa Garseni, Na hii ndio the main lifeline ya support ya county nzima ya Lamu. Wanategemea hii kwa chakula, kwa mafuta, kwa maisha. Na sasa hii barabara imepandwa na maji. Na tuko na wasiwasi kwamba hii barabara inaweza kuharibika. Na kitu ninataka kusema ni kuomba waziri wa barabara Murko men awache shughuli zake aje atembelee hii sehemu na Kenha wangekuwa wako hapa na maengineer wao wakifanya monitoring kwa sababu hii ikikatika utakuwa hatuna sasa namna ya kufika Lamu na maisha ya Lamu yatakuwa magumu sana According to Hassan Musa, Kenya Red Cross Coast Regional Coordinator, they will try use boats to rescue the sick, women and children, adding that the road is currently impassable. Na wale ambao wanatoka Garsen kuendo pandu wa Lamu, pia hawawezi kuenda. Kama mwishimu alivo sema, hii ni sehemu muhimu sana katika hizi county mbili ambao hizi naunganisha. Na jambo la kusikitisha ni kwamba, hili tatizo halita kuwa hapa kwa siku moja uwezekano kukaa hivi unaweza kuwa hata pengine wiki kwa hiyo chakula cha kwenda lamu sasa hivi itakuwa nightmare kwa hiyo uh, sisi kama shirika la msalaba mwekundu tutajaribu kadri ya uwezo wetu kuvukisha na hiboti yetu moja wale ambao wako katika hali ngumu pengine mama ni mjamzito anahitaji huduma pengine kuna mgonjwa anahitaji huduma hilo tunaweza tukufanya lakini wale watu ambao sasa pengine wako katika biashara hapa wataathirika kwa kiwango kikubwa Na ukiangalia barabara hata ni, ni hatari sana mtu kutembea katika taibara kwa sababu tumetembea hapa na boti tumeona kuna sehemu kama inaanza kukatika hatuna hakika kwa sababu haya ni maji kwa hiyo uh, tanariva saivi miathirika kwa kiwango kikubwa kuna watu uh, katika sehemu ya tana delta ambao kufikia jana lukua hawajatoka vijijini na maji ya meongezeka at the same time, residents of Garissa and Madogo towns now warn the Kenya National Highways Authority to speed up road repair activities on the road session between the two towns while complaining of lack of fuel, vegetables and increasing prices of important products. John Matava, Look Up TV.